Good morning. Today is morning. Wednesday in the seventh week of Easter. The Mass is being offered for Jeffrey Hoyne, and it's the Memorial of St. Augustine of Canterbury. The entrance antiphon is, These are holy men who became friends of God, glorious heralds of his divine truth. Alleluia. In the name of the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. So, my brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. mercy. <clears throat> My almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who by the preaching of the Bishop St. Augustine of Canterbury, lead the England peoples to the gospel, grant, we pray, that the fruits of his labors may remain ever abundant in your church. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. At Miletus, Paul spoke to the presbyters of the church of Ephesus. Keep watch over yourselves and over the whole flock of which the Holy Spirit has appointed you overseers, in which you tend the church of God that he acquired with his own blood. Know that after my departure, savage wolves will come among you and they will not spare the flock. And from your own group, men will come toward, forward, perverting the truth and drawing the disciples away after them. So be vigilant and remember that for three years, night and day, I unceasingly admonished each of you with tears. And now I commend you to God and to that gracious word of his that can build you up and give you the inheritance among all who are consecrated. I have never wanted anyone's silver, gold, or clothing. You know well that these very hands have served my needs and my companions. In every way, I have shown you that by hard work of that sort, we must help the weak. And keep in mind the words of the Lord Jesus, who himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. When he had finished speaking, he knelt down and prayed with them all. They were all weeping loudly as they threw their arms around Paul and kissed him, for they were deeply distressed that he had said that they would never see his face again. Then they escorted him to the ship. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Show forth, O God, your power, the power, O God, with which you took our part. For your temple in Jerusalem, let the kings bring you gifts. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Your kingdoms of the earth, sing to God. Chant praise to the Lord, who rides on the heights of the ancient heavens. Behold, his voice resounds, the voice of power. Confess the power of God. Sing to God, O kingdoms of the earth. Good 
bless you, Father. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Your word, O Lord, is truth. Consecrate us in the truth. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Lifting up his eyes to heaven, Jesus prayed, saying, Holy Father, keep them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one, just as we are one. When I was with them, I protected them in your name that you gave me, and I guarded them, and none of them was lost except the son of destruction, in order that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you. I speak this in the world so that they may show, share my joy completely. I gave them your word, and the world hated them, because they do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They do not belong to the world any more than I belong to the world. Consecrate them in the truth. Your word is truth, as you sent me into the world, so I sent them into the world, and I consecrate myself for them, so that they may also be consecrated in truth. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So we continue with the Last Supper discourse from uh, the Acts, from uh, from John, and uh, I think we will finish it on Saturday. But I was reminded of this the other evening when my wife and I were walking in downtown Arlington, and we saw a parishioner waiting for a food pickup at one of the restaurants. And we had a socially distant uh, conversation. They were in their car and we were in the middle of the street. Um, I, I'm glad they were shopping downtown because the, our local businesses need our support in this difficult time. But there was a very deep yearning in his discussion. He, um, he missed his grandchildren. He missed the social interactions that are a normal part of daily life. And as I read the readings from the Gospel of John that we have this week, there's a great yearning in Jesus' words. He knows this is the last, what I'll call, normal conversation and discussion he will have with his disciples. Oh, he will go up to Gethsemane and ask them to pray with them, but they'll fall asleep. He will say his seven last words from the cross, but the words he's saying as he's dying are more directive and uh, not a discussion and not a teach. They're a definite teaching, but but not a teaching in the same way as this discussion. How much was Jesus yearning for his disciples as he knew at the Last Supper that he was about to leave them? And how much is he yearning for us? We have some sense of that from our own, as I said, our own um, loss of interaction with our family and friends during this time of uh, quarantine and social distancing. Imagine the God of the universe who created all of us and loves us more than we could lo ever love him. How much yearning he has in our, his heart for us. Let's share that burning fire with our family and friends. Let us share God's message of salvation with all we come in contact with. Let us be joyful and loving.
We bring our prayers before God who invite us to untie with him. For our holy church, may she be guided in truth through the outpouring of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all government officials, may the grace of God enliven their hearts for <coughs> peace and justice in the world. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who feel alienated, lonely, or cast off, and for those whose human dignity is overlooked, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. prayer. For those gathered here, may we be formed and transformed by word and sacrament and be united ever more closely to the Trinity. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For those who have died, may perpetual light shine upon them and may they rest in the eternal peace of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. And for Jeffrey Hoyne, for whom this Mass is being offered, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we ask that you hear and answer the prayers we offer today through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. <coughs> Blessed are you, Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are Lord God of our creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine. We offer fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of us, his holy church. Look upon the sacrifice gifts we offer Almighty God on the feast day of Saint Bishop Augustine and grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's Passion may imitate what we now know to do through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For us, the feast festival of St. Augustine, you bid your church rejoice, so to you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer in his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, and with our end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God, God of hosts, host. heaven and <coughs> earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. highest. Blessed is he who comes, who comes in, the in the name, name of, of the Lord. Lord. Hosanna in, in the highest. highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the fall, so that they may become for us the bud and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and gave him thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Yeah. 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim Claim your death, death O Lord, Lord and, and profess, profess your, your resurrection, resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the blood and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope. Bless our bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Bishop Augustine, and the all saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <coughs> Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honors yours for ever and ever. Amen. So, my brothers and sisters, let us pray like Jesus teach us. Our Father, Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy, thy kingdom, kingdom come, come thy, thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as a way the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you say to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. And with you. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take, take away, away the sins of the world. world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
A prayer of spiritual communion is prayed by Pope Francis. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament of the altar. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. The communion antiphon, I will pasture my sheep. I myself will give them rest, says the Lord. Alleluia. Let us pray. By the power of his ministry, O Lord, confirm your servants in the true faith, that they may everywhere profess in word and deed the faith for which St. Bishop Augustine never ceased to labor and for which he spent his whole life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you so much for homily, for the words. Thank you so much for readings. I'm very glad that we are here today with Jesus and pray through the intercession of missionary of England, St. Augustine of Canterbury, who came <coughs> to make uh, baptism and establish first uh, um, capital of bishops in uh, England. And we are now also missionary in our homes, in our families, where we give the example of faith to our children, our families. Thank you for doing this. Lord Jesus, take my life and make it wholly pleasing to you. Sanctify me in your truth and guide me by your Holy Spirit that I may follow you faithfully wherever you lead. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Be to God. <clears throat> 